Uh, hello there, YouTubers. The SynthCast podcast is back, and I'm here with uh, a guest who goes by Matt. Hello. That's right, baby. It's yeah. me, Matt, number one YouTuber in um, the d- less than 500 subscribers uh, sphere. Yeah, a, a fucking nobody. Under, like, how can you not make 1,000 subscribers on YouTube? I mean... I thought it would be pretty easy. It's a little bit hard. Well, to be fair, I have not put as much effort into it recently. So, uh, maybe. I don't know. Some of your videos are actually put more effort than me. Yeah, yeah. I'm t- talking more about, like, consistent uploads and stuff. I don't think I've put an upload on the Bonsai channel in, like... I think well, okay. Last month I put up like two. I put like an update and then like the a podcast episode, but I hadn't uploaded on that one since like January. So I just I can't. My thing is I can't schedule my time right to actually work on stuff. Listen, so. egghead. It's not about like the algorithm or whatever, dude. You just, just it's it's where the Zoomer generation Zoomers want shit posts. Just toss some shit posts. It's very true. It's how you it's build a house true. now. Just you build a house with shit posts, not with like <laughs> video essays about like I don't know. Well, 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 what are the type of video essays that get made but don't really get a YouTuber far? I, I feel like there's like those videos, like uh, I don't know, any movie pre nineteen ninety. Yeah, for the like, most part, unless it's like, did you know this weird movie directed by this guy? Unless it's, like, if you made, like, a serious, like, review of, like, 70s movie, usually it's not going to get, like, any traction. Yeah, I mean, which is weird because, like, the 70s is easily the best, like, decade for movies. I need to watch more 70s movies, but I think that's the general consensus. Yeah, I mean... Look at I've the- seen Star Wars. <laughs> Oh my god! I can't make a movie like that today. <laughs> I um, I was watching some like uh, YouTube. I I do watch a lot of kind of like I don't know pop culture history videos, and I was watching one about like a Burger King advertising. And uh, I looked at like in the eighties or late seventies, they had like limited edition Burger King cups at Burger King. And that's how Burger King, like, pretty much became the rival to McDonald's is thanks to the Star Wars. Really? That's yes. really... That makes a lot of sense, yeah. Because so, were Happy Meal toys a thing back then? Um, I don't... Fuck, I, I don't know the history of Happy Meal I, toys. I think they started doing toys in the... Not until the late 80s, I think. Um, interesting well, interesting usually uh kids back then they got uh you know these like gay ass puzzles and jokes and it's like bitch i want a toy yeah like the comics and the bazooka joe bubblegum i get what you're saying yeah okay. although my favorite um okay the i shouldn't say my favorite my only the only unique mcdonald's um happy meal toy story i know do you know the stuff with the batman returns movie um yeah where they had to, that's like way before we were even born but uh it's yeah, like the yeah. Movie was so dark. i just remember i remember reading about that um and just being like <laughs> that's pretty great i i can imagine like a, a mom taking their seven-year-old to see batman returns and that part where the where the penguin snaps the guy's nose in half i mean it's must have been pretty great Batman Returns is, like, the one, like, top-tier Batman movie. Every other Batman movie is, like, kind of ass. I fucking love Batman Returns. That's a really good movie. It's a great movie. Although I do really like um, Mask of the Phantasm, too. Uh, I think that one's really good. I never actually seen that. It's... I would... Okay. That one is... If you kind of like the more, I mean, do you like Batman the animated series? I think it, it's a respectable cartoon. It just doesn't. It's just not my personal favorite show. I think it's a little overrated in a personal sense, but I get why people like it. Okay, because it's um, I mean, it's basically just like a really long episode of the show, but it has kind of that 
it's like a, it's like a straight up mystery movie. It's like Batman is a detective, which I, I think that's when he's best is when he's actually doing like detective work. And I think yeah, it's because it goes into his origin and stuff. So. Oh my god! I just I I just woke up. I had this dream that someone was explaining to me the worst sounding movie ever made. Nah, it's good. It was it's a good. nightmare. I would give it. I would give it a watch seriously. Oh. But um, yeah, I don't. I rewatched all of the um, the Christopher Nolan movie. I like how this is every podcast about anything is just going to turn into superhero movies. But I did like yeah. um, I rewatched the uh, the um, the Christopher Nolan trilogy last summer because my little cousin had never seen them. Oh, don't do that and fucking excuse. No, God, that's the only reason no, every- because he was like, no, I I want to watch the Dark Knight, and I was like, all right, cool. But um, no, they're all. The fifth, I'll say the third one does not hold up, like, at all. The third one is um, totally dog shit. The third one, like, all the cops are, like, trapped underground for, like, three months, and then they're all, like, immediately ready to fight as soon as they get out. They don't have, like, hair shit. It felt, like, really... And also, like, <laughs> it seemed kind of pro 1% a little bit. Like, it, I couldn't tell if that was on purpose or accident. It's... I mean, it's not even, like, subtle. It's, like, it's basically, like, a fucking boomer's, like, like nightmare. It, it felt, like, kind of, like, reading, like, a, like, a Tom, like, The Dark Knight Rises could have easily been, like, a Tom Clancy book or some shit. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's true. Um, Anarchism is when I want to tear down buildings. Yeah, it's like it's it's like what a boomer thinks like the Occupy people were going to do. Like, yeah, it's just fucking bizarre. But um, you know that going back that ex- that excuse you made, like, oh, my little cousins, like that's like every time I hear mm-hmm. someone goes like, yeah, I I watched all of. Uh, I'm going to rant about Mickey Mouse's Clubhouse. I didn't watch it on my own, but I wa- my little cousins made me, or like My Little Pony, or fucking Blue's Clues, or Barney. I I will freely admit I watched Barney in my spare time. You watch Barney in your spare time. That it 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 it's some good vibes, you know. He talks to me. I talk to him. All Barney watching babies will be beaten senseless by every abled member in the bar bar. Bar. Um also going way back about our uh talking about like toys from in kids' meals, uh, I wanna give a shout out to PK Flashfire for uh his story where he got like a Nickelodeon blimp toy from like McDonald's or something. And mm-hmm. he saw his, his grandpa was dying in the hospital. And so uh, what PK did was give his grandfather the Nickelodeon toy. <laughs> blimp. And I feel like a douchebag because I always bring up that story whenever we talk. But it's just it, it's such a I mean, that's funny. Story. That's, that's quite a story. <laughs> you you won kids choice award for world's greatest grandpa <laughs> thank you yeah, yeah that's pretty i mean i would die happy knowing i won a kids choice award so damn right yeah is, is the kids choice awards even like being a thing this year or uh we actually uh we saw it actually we were gonna make like a video where we were making fun of it and then um it ended up being really boring and then we all got drunk and then i just deleted all the files because it was pretty shit but um no it was like um it was an empty stage and then they would be like the winner is anna kendrick and then anna kendrick would like come from some like behind the curtain and come on stage and be like thank you and then she left it was actually really lame i would have been fucking pissed off what the fuck did anna kendrick win trolls trolls something what? some yeah i think it was because she was in the trolls movie wait so there was like no kids in the audience going Aah! there were a bunch of kids on zoom that they had in the like uh big screens in the back of the uh the stage those kids like sound like the biggest fucking weenies in the world it was pretty great keenan <laughs> thompson thompson hosted it for some reason Kenan Thompson. Kenan Thompson is like the most like C tier 
celebrity I think that's ever existed. Um, like, I don't know. Are there like huge, like really like hardcore Keenan Thompson fans other than the fat Albert movie? <laughs> I mean, uh, doesn't Keenan have his like own TV show now? Does he? Yeah. It's like, like a sitcom. Does it star um, the other dude? No, it's, it's not like a continuation of a uh, black I, Drake and Josh. I, I, I just type, I was going to look up Keenan Thompson and I like, instinctively type Keenan and kill. Yeah. Keenan sitcom. Um, this looks boring. Oh, he's got two school age daughters. He's just like you and me, dude. Yeah. Um, I have black daughters. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's just the, uh, it's like a, is it like a CBS sitcom with a laugh track? I think it's an NBC. It says NBC. Oh wow! I Big think. fucking difference. So that that's a that's a little bit step up. Yeah, it's from, like um, your your typical fare. Going from uh, fucking lion shit to dog shit. Congratulations. Pretty much, yeah. CBS has like some of the worst shows I think I've ever seen. Like wow. I remember there was like a trailer for one. I like forgot like what it was. It was like hashtag dad or something. Hashtag dad. They're like par. They're like parodies of shows you would see in like The Simpsons or whatever. Or like when you think of like what's like what would be like a really cringy show that would be on nowadays. Like CB. Like I have to fucking look up the show. It was like the main guy- character was a cop. I think it was called like ha- it was hashtag something. I think it was hashtag family. Uh, hashtag. Family is this a fast? Okay, I'm gonna search up hashtag CBS. Oof, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm yawning. I'm like, it's I'm really tired. It's late. It's okay. Um, let's see. Oh, CBS I'm, show sitcom. Dad. Uh, C. Why am I? Do, I'm just getting a bunch of gay dad porn. Um, <laughs> is, you mean like fucking blue bloods? No, it's, Which like, is, it's like a sitcom. I, we're we're not going to find it. I have no idea what this thing is called, but I'm pretty sure it had a hashtag in the chi- in the title. Well, uh, I, there is this new show on CBS, uh, The United States of Al. Uh, oh, what is that one again? I, I, is that the one where the, it's the guy from Mike and Molly and he's dating a black woman, and that's the show? No, no, The United States of Al. Because um, what I know, they had an episode... About the uh, recent Afghanistan controversy, um, I'm reading the premise. The series, the <laughs> oh, series no. follows the friendship between Wiley, a combat veteran, and uh, you know, part of my cultural uh, ignorance, Alamir, Alamir, uh, Al, an interpreter from Afghanistan who helped the former while he served in the Marines. As they readjust to their normal lives in Columbus, Ohio, Al moves in with Riley and meets his fa- father, Art. He later learns Riley's going through a divorce with his wife. So it's, Sounds it's, really boring. Yeah, it's made by... Uh, Is this a Chuck Lore I, thing? I, I thought it was. I don't see Chuck... Let me see. Chuck... Oh, he's an executive producer. It's by his production company. Uh, I see. And that doesn't count. Yeah, so it's... Uh, it I just guess, means like I put money. Well, I, I guess it's basically like... The, it might be like the Big Bang Theory, but instead of like Green Lantern jokes, it's like, uh, you know, jokes dudes in the military would get. Oh, uh, okay. Um, that sounds really fun. Uh, yeah, there was, I think there was an episode about, like, the recent Afghanistan controversy, so I think there's a conspiracy that Biden only withdrew from Afghanistan, uh, really fast like that, only so the United States of Al produced by Chuck taken more refugees, right? What? I know there's, well, sorry, go ahead. Oh, My no, bad. I was just, I was making a shitty joke about how... Biden only did that for the the United States of Al. Oh, okay. the, the, the plan all along. I, I was gonna say there there is a conspiracy where like the only reason he pulled out just so that way the country could fall and that we would have no excuse but to take in more refugees. That way, Democrats would always win. I think that's a pretty stupid conspiracy. I'm trying to find this fucking shit. I'm I'm giving up. I'm sorry, but. 
I thought I could find. Oh, this is why it's under dramas. Well, I have to go to comedies. I'm literally on the Wikipedia page for CBS sitcoms. Yeah. Because it's going to fucking drive me crazy. <sighs> okay, it's called Fam. Fam? Hashtag Fam? No, the show is just called Fam. Fam. Um, and then the, the title card is Fam on like a phone. Like a iPhone. All right. The series. And all I remember was it had this really shitty joke in the, in the the trailer, and then I was already like, I was already like, Ugh. and then it just cut to fam. The series. And like, I think I lost. I think I was like, all right, I, I'm glad I don't have cable. Uh, I mean, this is network television, so. Mm-hmm. Oh, is it? Yeah. Why don't you like use your fucking brain, motherfucker? Ah. Sh- Shit. Yeah, bro. My, my privilege is showing. I, yeah, I'm sorry you think fam is worthy enough to be on, like, TBS, bro. Um, the series revolves around Clem, a young woman who envisions her life as perfect after getting engaged to her fiancé, Nick, and loves her future in-laws, Walt and Rose. However, her world is turned upside down when... Her out of control teenage half sister, so, so, and her strange police detective father Freddy comes back into her. See, that's <laughs> where the fam comes in because now they're back. Yeah, they're fam. Wow, what a groundbreaking show! This is re- this is what America really fucking needed. Thank you. Did this end before? Oh, okay. It was 2019. I was like, I'd love to see a, a show where the dad is a cop during the Gary or the George Floyd stuff. Um, so you bring up a TV show that is canceled mm-hmm. two years ago onto my podcast. You think this was a worthy enough subject for my podcast? How do you feel? A show that was canceled two years ago. Do you feel big? Do you feel smart? The more I'm looking at this. Yes. I'm like trying to find any pot. I trying to find any thing I can pull from it. But uh, no, I think I derailed the conversation and I wasted everyone's time. I think it's time to. Move on. I think it's uh, here's a sword. Just going to leave it on the table. I'll let you know what okay, to do. Okay, thank you. Um, I'll put it I'll put it in my closet for safekeeping, but um. Nah, I think on our podcast we played like one season show that no one else has seen. I think this is a good one to pull it, put up, pull it into like the back catalog. The fam show to take out too. What if there's a when really a- big fan of fam and you know there? I'm sure there's a big fam fan base. You should call the episode um, "Fam Fam Specific Fam TV Series," so that way, like. Any forty-year-old dude who's like, oh, I remember that fucking show, fam. I want to see if the fan base is still alive and well. The fam, and then fan he just base. cries, and then he just cries as he hears this, as he realizes he's becoming irrelevant. I'm gonna search up petition to bring back fam. Uh, Please. CBS. Uh, all right. I, I. It takes me to a family of U.S. citizens government page. Well, that's not important about immigration. <laughs> Um, Boring. Well, okay, here is his partners. Petitions. Petition ways to help save the CBS show. Oh, and it's about some old ass show called Partners Don't Care. Um, petition to Kelly Cow, president, CBS. A petition on behalf of America's children. Is there a petition to bring back dads with Seth um, Green? Oh, uh, I you know, I remember the amazing atheist made a video ranting about that show years ago. Oh my god! So I'm I'm assuming he his thoughts were very um, concise and um, eloquently spoken. Um, well, you know, he it, it was funny in the video he was talking about Seth Green and he says Seth Green voices Chris Griffin, the blandest Griffin on Family Guy, and it's like, is that a hill you're gonna die on, TJ? Is yeah, oh, is, okay. While we're on the subject of Family Guy, I yeah. was um, uh, cleaning up my uh, grandma's house today, 
and Old her bitch. cable went yeah her cable went out so the only thing she had was like her antenna tv and i walk in on her and she's watching fox because yeah. it's the only thing that's on and she's watching family guy your grandma and sounds like, cool my yeah i'm like all right and then like because she because she's like i don't know what this show is but i got nothing else i'm like okay cool and then like 20 minutes later she like comes to me and she's like matt that family guy is that a racist show? <laughs> it's like, like, I mean, and, and then my grand, my Grammy became unbased at yeah, that moment. Your grandma's a stupid bitch. Honestly, we no, should, I, it's, I'm, I'm going to beat her ass. Um, this when, when is the, uh, family guy, South park race war going to um, happen? Well, you see the family guy, Chad's, you know, we, uh, we kind of run the turf, but the South Park cocks keep trying to bite, bite our ankles. So, hey, you know, you gotta look, you know, it's the life of the hustle, my man. I feel, I feel. Yeah, dog. If I'm not interesting, please let me know. Cause I feel like I'm like running on fumes right no now. dude dude don't do when i yawn it's not because of you it, it's because i'm like insanely tired from like uh i just got back from the gym i ate a bunch of fucking junk food like i'm you know it's really late so no don't don't take no, it personally when I, when I yawn okay dog it's it's okay when i get tired i make uh references to uh cbs shows that i have not thought about in two years so I no, get it. No, no, dude. I, I like talking about CBS shows. Um, let's talk about yeah. what's another CBS show. Uh, uh, oh my God. What's that one? Um, the Chuck Lore. he made a show. I think it's called like disjointed and it's on Netflix now. Oh, it's like Kathy. Is it Kathy Bates? Um, the old lady. Is it like a laugh track sitcom? It's like it's like a laugh track sitcom. I think all of the kind of unfunnier people are moving to Netflix, and I think it's like I think that's going to be the breeding ground for the next like Big Bang Theory. Honestly, um, I just feel like it's so weird that that laugh track sitcoms it, like are still a thing. Like I'm not going to say like whatever they're like low class comedy or whatever but it's like i just feel like that's such like a dated concept you know in terms of like you know now you got like malcolm in the middle and stuff and like modern family and the office really popular and stuff i oh just feel boy. like mockument like mockumentary style sitcoms yeah those are so fresh and so new well no i mean not not, not specifically <laughs> that but i mean just like yeah, I, I, know, I just feel like the idea of like a, a, a laugh track sitcom is like dead. I don't know, but I guess I'm wrong because they all seem to be still be pretty popular. I actually don't know. Well, here's my kind of take, and uh, I, 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 I think it, it is kind of like a tribal thing of laughter. Like it, in a way, it is kind of contagious laughter. You know, it's like, you know, you're huddling around a fire, just laughing and it spreads. I, I think that's why the network still rolled the dice on sitcoms because they, there's always going to be the one, that one stupid ass show that fucking, you know, Redditors and theater kids are going to eat up and old boomers, you know, you got old boomers watching a uh, last man standing with uh, the, the Tim oh Allen shit. Oh my God. Yes. I forgot about that. In that. My hero. Basically the show is like the big bang theory, but instead of like saying like, like the flash or Batman, every joke X, I, I, you go watch clips. There's just like a joke where the kit where uh, Tim Allen is like, why do we believe in hard work? And the little kid says, like, we're not Democrats. And then, like, the audience laughs. <laughs> it's pretty, yeah, that is, like, literally the whole show. Because it's one of those shows where it's, like, because it's, like, the same with that Rob Schneider show that's on Netflix. It's, like, all in the family is our inspiration because that's a dad who can't say what, you know, you could you can't say that anymore. But it's, like, they clearly miss the point of the show. But... They also acknowledge that like, Archie Bunker is supposed to be an asshole in the show, 
So like they'll say stuff that like Archie Bunker would say, but then they also have to do the whole, well, you're an asshole for thinking that, but it's like, the, but it's still like, okay, but I still think that. So it's like, uh, they have to like make this weird, like I'm in the right, but I'm also going to just shut up to make everybody feel better. But I'm still going to go on a rant about Ryan right at the end. Like it's really like, it's got like an identity crisis almost. Yeah, like, um, I think with like Archie, an, oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry, but I mean, there's like an episode of Last Man Standing where like the brother, like, I think it's, um, the daughter has, you know, a really stupid husband who's a little bit too liberal, who won't let his kid play fucking dodgeball or whatever, which is kind of dumb, but it's like the entire episode, it's like, you should let your kid play dodgeball, and he does this big thing, and then at the end, the kid gets hurt. And then it's like, hmm, maybe I was wrong, but I'm still right. It's like, what the fuck is the point of the show? Um, like, I don't get it. It's for like uh, 53 year old dads who, uh, you know, they're, they realize they're like too fat to like wear like um, fucking punk rock t-shirts from JCPenney. So now they have to like put on this like act where they uh, feel compelled to get really mad at six-year-old girls getting participation trophies like that's their entire personality now Mm -hmm. um it's basically a show like that like i i would not be surprised if there's a last man standing episode where where um tim allen delivers a big speech on why participation trophies are making Um, there's there's like seven i bet that's like an entire season it's, it's it's the first arc. Yeah, if, uh, you know, if you, like, when there's, like, a McDonald's Happy Meal thing for uh, Last Man Standing, one of the, the toys will be Tim Allen, like, pissing on a participation trophy. It'll look like Calvin pissing on the, the Chevron logo. Is that right? Oh, uh, yeah. They'll, they'll, I mean, I still see Calvin piss, pissing stickers fucking everywhere. Um, I, I imagine- You know it's weird? I saw one where it was... Um, it was like the, a truck, and it was Calvin. He was still doing like the pissing thing, but instead of pissing, he was just holding in a, a Confederate flag. But it still had like the same devious face. Like I didn't understand. Like I don't get it. Wait, so is he pissing? He's on the not Confederate? pissing on a Confederate flag. Instead of pissing it, he's holding it. Is it, is his like pants like all the way down or what? Uh, no, his pants are up. He's still doing the same pose, but he was just holding the Confederate flag in front of it, but he was still doing like the same face. Um, it was uh, really weird. Maybe Calvin like took the Confederate flag from a Confederate, like from a Southern rebel, um, military base and replaced it with a Yankee union (laughs) flag. So uh, the Confederates uh, shot each other with cannons and that's (laughs) why he's grinning at us. Calvin, they re, Calvin and Hobbes reboot, and the first uh, strip is them trying to tear down a Confederate statue. They need to fucking bring back Calvin and Hobbes. I don't care about Bill Watterson's like gay, like, yes. like. Oh, this is my peer. No, it's like no, bitch. You're mm-hmm. gonna sell the fuck out right fucking now. I want yeah, a cartoon. He's about to die too, so like, yeah. he, it'll be like Stephen Hillenburg. It won't matter. Yeah, it's like you know what are you gonna do, bitch? Like Leo. You know, Fucking Illumination Calvin and Hobbes. Yeah, I was just thinking that. That'd be who would play Calvin and Hobbes uh, in the Illumination movie. Um, you know, when I read Calvin and Hobbes as a kid, I always kind of imagine um Calvin with kind of like a uh, like a very juvenile voice, but like from someone like an adult doing a an impression of a kid. You know, I, I kind of mean. Yeah, yeah, like in a cartoon. Kind of like not like Bart Simpson sounding, but kind of more like it's actually really hard because I, I have no one to base. Like, there was always this kind of like this like not too not not too like squeaky, but like obviously like a child's kind of voice. Did you ever watch um, the replacements on Disney Channel? Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you, you I always like, kind of imagined him having a voice kind of like that kid. Like Todd? Yeah, t- is that his name? Yeah. Yeah, I, I actually, yeah, mine would be kind of, sim- mine was kind of like similar to that voice. Not the same, but yeah. I, um, And Hobbes would be voiced by, 
I, you know, I, there was a YouTuber who would used to make like commentary videos. Like this was before commentary videos were like British kids playing CSGO, ranting about like, oh, which girl on TikTok rejected me? No, th th this is back when commentaries were like nerds putting like anime uh, pictures and just talking about like other doing commentaries on other guys with that exact same thing kind of like you know you, you know what i'm saying or is that like the, too the, old the, the pioneers yeah, yeah yeah i see what you're saying and there was this uh one youtuber uh i think his name was like young blood fantasy 91 and i would sometimes watch his videos and uh he, he his thing was having hobbs as this kind of like channel mascot and i i think i i watched those videos when i was really young so i i did kind of like imagine like hobbs having his voice if that makes sense or is that i see yeah i know it sounds really gay but i'm looking him up right now i uh, see the resemblance um has he come out as like a, a closet furry or anything i don't know it's it been, seems like one of those it's, it's been fucking years like i'm sure if i rewatch all those videos they're fucking cringe as fuck oh his name is literally hobbs that's interesting i'm on the wikitubia right now Notable works, commentaries, the logo corner, music reviews, and there's a big paragraph on rants. Um, there was, uh, I mean, you remember Blackbuster Critic? I need to look this up. Blackbuster the, the, Critic. Like this black guy who a lot of his videos were just him like ranting about. I mean, he was a funny guy. <laughs> Is, uh, okay, I'm looking at some of these thumbnails. It seems pretty good. And he had a video where he. Fucking like when Marvel vs. Capcom three came out, you might remember this, where uh, the Ultimate Edition, or it's like, yeah. wasn't it kind of controversial? Or yeah, whatever? yeah, because yeah, yeah, because like the game. If you don't, for you don't know, Marvel vs. Capcom three was like a big disappointment to a lot of people, so they released the Ultimate Edition, and Blackluster yeah. Critic like pretty much just like made so many videos like leading a crusade against like Capcom. Um, and then I, I think Youngblood Fantasy made a video like, hey man, just like calm down. And my, all this shit's probably deleted, but, um, <laughs> no, it's still here. Um, Ultimate Capcom Rant 3, Fanboys Capcom Took You for a Ride. Oh, yeah. And, and then, then, um, BBC versus Heavy Fail X, Defending Capcom. <laughs> this can't shit went on done. for a year, bro. <laughs> and it's like, it's like this guy's photoshopped head and he's in a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> it's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I miss Blackbuster Critic. He was like the one truly base YouTuber. Now every other YouTuber just sucks. Okay, that. No, no, no. YouTubers are doing the Lord's work. Ethan Klein and Hassan Piker are gonna lead the revolution. Ethan, I who still watches H three H three? Holy fuck! Yeah, I remember um, back in the day. I saw a stream. With it was H three H three and Psychic Pebbles, and they were talking about politics. And um, H three H three said, "If George W. Bush got a less votes, he would have lost." I'm glad that man is now seen as going to be the forefront of YouTube left discourse. I guess. Um. Yeah. <laughs> truth like, bombs. <laughs> damn, that's pretty fucking intelligent. Um, it's like, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hate that fucking coughing sound. He does. It's his trademark. Because uh, he's got lung cancer. Wait, does he actually? No. <laughs> uh. That's going to be a really long podcast, though. I, 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 I think there's a photo of his ass. I think I saw on Twitter or something. Yes, I remember that. And yeah. look, I'm not too judgmental on like other uh, other dudes like bodies, but mm. oh my god, that is probably the worst ass I've ever seen. Like you had to get that on purpose. Yeah, <laughs> it's for it's for com. He gave his body for comedy, dude. It's like like I'll be real with you. My ass, I, I have a very shapely ass. You know, mm -hmm. I have a very beautiful ass. So when I see like Ethan Klein's ass, I just go, that is fucking disgrace to asses what a fucking it's just and it's so it's it's okay because he made fun of fat girls in his one video it's like it's a deflated ass dude mm -hmm. um 
Well, speaking of asses, let's go back to uh, who's going to voice Hobbs in the Illumination, Calvin and Hobbs. Uh, I'm thinking either Kevin Hart or Ryan Reynolds. Strong lean towards Ryan Reynolds. Oh, no. No, Ryan Reynolds would be Calvin. And then who would be Hobbs? You know, I I wouldn't even be mad if Ryan Reynolds... No, if if he did the same voice, that wouldn't work for Calvin. Well, he's not going to (laughs) try. Or uh, um, if they got Seth Rogen as uh, Hobbs, <laughs> that'd be pretty. That's that honestly, yeah, that seems like something they would do. Honestly, I wouldn't even be bad. I, I would. I, that would actually kind of fit. Like I'm, I'm picturing it, and you can yeah. do much. Like if they're gonna get a celebrity, get Seth Rogen to do Hobbs. I could kind of see it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You should do the laugh too, like as much as possible. Mm, I would say lower on, on the laugh when you're doing Hobbs. To me, like mm-hmm. um, um, bigger laughs, bigger. Um, I think Calvin should be doing the Dougie at some point and trying to teach it to Hobbs, and then oh. that could be the good stuff. That could be a good thing for the trailer where they're doing the Dougie, and then the mom walks in and he's just like dancing with Hobbs, and then it's just it's a record scratch. <laughs> Oh. I think, yeah, I can see this working. Because uh, there would have to be, like, a villain. They would have to make up a new character. Susie would be the villain. She'd be played by Sarah Silverman or something. Nah. She, like, s- tries to steal Hobbs or something. That, that, that wouldn't happen. Um, do you think they would, like, would they only keep the... Because, like, would I, the comics, there was only, like, a handful of characters. Yeah. And, like, no yeah. background characters or anything, right? Uh-huh. Um... I mean, there was the teacher, there was the the bully, um, and there was Susie. I think, yeah, it's very limited. It wasn't like, like there was. It, it's not like there were kids of the neighborhood or whatever. It was just like mainly his family and then like some people that he ran into at school. Yeah, so it was like Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Um, let yeah, I would say like Ed and Eddie. L- let's actually Except, count mm, every. L- let's count every Calvin and Hobbes character that we physically see on screen. Let's see if we yeah, can do you have uh, um, Cal- Calvin Hobbs, mom and dad. Does he have a grandpa? Calvin's mom is grandma. Hot. Yeah, she was pretty bad. Uh, Susie, teacher, bully. Uh, I remember there's a, oh my God, there was like this, uh, I don't want to call it an arc, but storyline where he joined the baseball team and he really sucked at it. And then he, like everyone just kept making fun of him. And he just like he was like, all right, I'm just gonna quit then. And then like the entire team like just started making fun of him for quitting. And then basically like he would ju- he just went home and like he gave this big speech about like whatever. Well, I mean, I don't know why y'all want me staying here because I'm not good and it's not something I want to get better at. Calvin killed his teammates. Yeah, Calvin killed. It. <laughs> okay. It's just Calvin like Hobbs holding so. a, like his imaginary. His vision, imaginary vision is like Hobbs is like shooting a machine gun with them, but in real life, yeah. it's just like the little stuffed animal with the gun. Exactly. See, yeah, this, he, this he is has why they got to bring it back in real life. Exactly. But uh, no, I remember that was like the first time I read something as a kid. And I remember thinking, like, wow, that's profound. Yeah, hey, you know, I, I still like Calvin and Hobbs. No, Calvin and Hobbs is like really holds up. I so think much better like, we than were kind of making fun of Bill Watterson earlier, but I think there's a lot of like artistic merit in oh, Calvin yeah, and Hobbs that he tries to explore through like, you know, kind of like a youthful thing. But it's kind of like how Simpsons will just randomly drop like 90 Simpsons episode will randomly just drop like some philosophy or like literary references in their stuff. Calvin and Hobbs does that a lot. And I actually like respect that calvin hobbs is like infinitely better than like 99 percent of comic strips like some oh stupid totally, ass shit yeah. like baby blue well but I, I don't know baby blues i think is if you're like a, a young mother that could actually work for you um yeah. but when it, i think when it, i think baby stupid, blues is all right when i think stupid oh of course you say that baby blues fan fanatic over here but um, I, yeah but like when i think of like really shitty comic strips i think of some shit like uh funky wicker bean or, oh, what is that one again? I recognize that name. It's, uh, you, you probably, uh, I wasn't really a newspaper centric family. We didn't really get yes, newspapers. Yes, I do remember this. But I go to yeah. my grandparents' house, they read the comic strips, and I was just like, oh, God. And every strip is like, 
this 40-year-old will explain why this child is wrong at fucking the definition of this word. It's just like, okay, it's like every fucking strip. I mean, you have like the the, the hip teen character. Here's why my here's why my kid is wrong for having a black friend. Shit like that. Yeah. Uh not like that, but uh <laughs> here is like here's the history of Funky Wicker Bean. This was some shit made in the seventies uh, about mm -hmm. teenagers in high school and that was it for a while. But in the early nineties the creator like decided to like age the characters like twenty years, give them their own teenage kids and uh, uh, it became kind of like this drama <laughs> and this kind of like <laughs> slice of life thing. Mm -hmm. So it was basically. Oh, I, thought you were, I thought you were going to say there was, was drama in the funky Winker Bean Winker Bean fandom. Uh, I mean, like how dare be. you fucking age these char my favorite beloved characters twenty years? There is like a Crips versus Bloods of the fan base. There's the people who like the the serious stuff, and then the people who like the seventies uh, hijinks. Interesting. Um, yeah, I, I hated the um, the soap opera ones because I it was always like they would be like basic because I mean they were like pretty detailed drawings, but like they were so big and like the Sunday comics specifically, they would only take up like two panels. Come on, so I want to get to the like, far side. Come on, <laughs> exactly. Um, it was just like it would just be a guy walking into a door and seeing someone, and then it would be like, "Content, read the Monday's comic," and I'd be like, "What is the? Who would read this?" I, I, I love know. the Far Side. The Far Side is fucking awesome. I had like a couple collections of the Far Side when I was younger. It was that and Pearls Before Swine were the ones that I was like obsessed with. My uh, grandpa, I think he he was like an old dude. He um he he took. A, a far side thing he found on the computer he printed it and he put it on his garage he put it on his like garage door that's pretty great yeah it's pretty bad that's a very typical like white older guy thing to do i mean i i, I he, i'm gonna he's i mean i'm gonna white do that. but i wouldn't i don't know if he's like white white he's kind of like a spanish swarthy i i yeah he wait wait just, yeah he's white you know yeah yeah, I didn't know you had a little bit of a Spaniard in you. Um, yeah. Are we allowed I'm, to reveal that? No, no. Twenty three and Me, the podcast. Uh, actually, I'm pure Aryan. Despite this Twenty Three and Me, the, the <laughs> Jews put twenty percent, uh, freaking black in there as a way to discredit me from the official Knives Ball movement. <laughs> And exactly. I will find you, and I will punch you in the butthole. <laughs> Hashtag bitched. My step grandpa um, was convinced like he was mostly Native American, and he called, and like he had like a bunch of dream catchers and shit in his study, and like he had like a website, and he called himself like Walking Stick, and he would always talk about like you know Thanksgiving is technically my holiday, and then he took like. A twenty three and me, and he was like point zero 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 one percent Native American, and then he just like threw all the dream catchers away the next day. No, uh, then he got into Duck Dynasty. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The, the dream catcher to Duck Dynasty pipeline, quite a classic with uh, a lot of boomers. Definitely, definitely. Is that show still on? Um, nah, it's fucking long gone. Yeah. Um, Going back to um, the, the Far Side comics, though, um, how, you know, people take Far Side strips and then they just hang them on, like, the door or whatever in their office. Um, I, hope, I hope this future generation does that, but it said it's going to be with um, uh, Osan High School pages. Wait, like, like high school pages? No, what's that, what's that one manga? It's like Osan High School or something. Um, high school DXD. Nah, that's not it. Well, shit, this joke is ruined now. Yeah, you know, it's like I'm not a fucking weed. Okay, bro. let's let's restart it. Let's restart no. it. No, fuck. It's it's my podcast. I get they want to tell the joke. <laughs> no, if you want to tell a joke, you have to submit it in the joke form for me to improve. 
but that's gonna take long. Ugh. I give that I don't want to put effort. No, okay, fuck your joke. Your joke sucks. We're taking a time machine and we're gonna finish this Calvin and Hobbes every major character. Okay, bitch? Yeah. Let me look up the Calvin and Hobbes wiki. No. No. Oh, we were doing memory? Yeah. All right. I'm pretty sure there's like two people on that baseball team they showed. The coach. Uh, the, there was no coach. No, there was a coach because he's the one that says, okay, quitter, goodbye. It was just in that one storyline, though. I don't think there was like a main character coach. Um, I, I know Calvin had an uncle who appeared, but he only in the really early strips. Lyman? N- no. <laughs> Not Lyman. That's where he went. Don't you don't he disappeared too. Look, uh, look don't I, crossbreed the comics. I'm sorry. Yeah, look, I believe in segregation. You keep the Garfield out of my Calvin and Hobbes. Okay, I don't want those. You keep you up. keep the you keep the orange cat separated. Yeah, it's like the Ruby Ridge, but it's just people holding Calvin and Hobbes books at a Garfield school. <laughs> no wait, wait, not Ruby Ridge, uh, Little Rock. I'm, I'm getting my yeah, Little Rock. I'm getting my Is history it? mixed up. Yeah, I was gonna say President uh, Charlie Brown. So yeah. it was all right. The uh, FBI shot the people on the compound for only reading Dilbert comics. Uh, <laughs> um, bro, reading Dilbert now would put you on a watch list, dude. <laughs> If they made Dilbert, dude, they couldn't make Dilbert today, man. It's pretty Mm. anti-PC. Look at this strip. Dilbert says that uh, work is hard. Whoa. If I'm correct, I saw, um, because Adult Swim is no longer airing Family Guy now, they're airing Dilbert episodes. But there's only like 13 episodes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that's true or not, but I saw it. Uh, I saw like a video on it on Twitter, and I was like, "That, that is fucking desperate." I, I, actually, you might as well show Baby Blues at that point. I, I mean, I get it that show's good, but it's like if you're gonna like replace Family Guy, you gotta do like another like long running series. I guess I don't know what could you replace Family Guy with on Adult Swim. Um, The Simpsons. Because I guess you. There you go. The Simpsons. Yeah, just fuck it. Put The Simpsons on there. Yeah, did they used to? I remember they used to show Futurama a lot, like really early into Adult Swim, yeah. and then I think they nixed that for some reason. Uh, they want to make room for American Dad. Of course, yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, the Dilbert cartoon was actually pretty good. I like Dogbert. Dogbert was fucking funny. The the archetypical Brian. No. Seth MacFarlane owes someone some royalties. No. Whoa. Um. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think. I think. I, I've listed all the Calvin and Hobbes characters. No, right? I, if you have any more, was, weren't there aliens? Uh no, but there was Calvin's babysitter. That's right. Yeah, oh, that bitch. She would always call her boyfriend or whatever. Stupid Make bitch. Calvin go to fucking bed. Yeah, like Calvin should have fucking, fucking killed that bitch. Honestly, like, he should be pissing on her grave, just Fuck. like he does with the Chevron Loco. <laughs> yeah, if there's two things I love to piss on, it's dead babysitters and the Chevron Logo. That would have been an amazing like last comic. <laughs> is this is Calvin shitting on? Is Calvin pissing on Hobbs because he turns twelve? He's like, I don't play with toys anymore. That's probably a, some World Thirty Four somewhere. Just Calvin pissing. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, let me what was up. that? Like the Webkins is filled with milk, and I slam it against the wall or whatever. I don't remember that. It's, it's that with Hobbs and piss. Um. Okay. I'm I'm searching up every Calvin Hobbs character on the official Calvin Hobbs. Uh, point fandom wiki uh and if you want to search up the website just type in http s uh slash slash calvin and hobbs dot fandom dot dot com slash wiki slash calvin space and space hobbs space characters uh thank you um okay we got calvin for hobbs calvin's father calvin's mother Susie durkins miss wormwood mo the bully that's uh, her yeah, uh, we got, yeah. Uh, Rosalind, Rosalind is the babysitter. Rosalind, right? Rosalind, Rosalind. Um, yeah. 
Principal, Principal Spittle. Spitter. Spittle. Yeah. My favorite recurring character, assorted monsters in Calvin's room. I, I know why they call him Principal Spin- Spittle. Do you know my drift? <laughs> oh, there was aliens. You are right. There's Zorg. I forgot about these little dudes. Yeah. Yeah, I remember like they... Um, I, I think it was like um, it was like an alien that came to... Because... Um, there was a, a, a strip where, like, they, he had to collect, like, 50 types of leaves or whatever, and then aliens came down. It's like, we'll give, we collected alien leaves for you, and then he just, like, brings them to school, and it's just, like, leaves that he cut in, like, weird shapes. And it's like, these are aliens. Um, that, was a, that was a pretty clever kid, that Calvin. I think, yeah, that was, like, one of those strips that were colored, so I, I think I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, there. I mean, there was Calvin and Hobbes books where uh, there was the colored Calvin and Hobbes books and the not colored ones, so it kind of was segregated at your uh, it, local it library. It was, yeah. Yeah. Um, I had like a bunch of the Calvin and Hobbes collections. I think I still own them. I have a shelf somewhere. I got it from my library. You know, it, it was like a war, man, checking those because every kid wanted the Calvin and Hobbes. You know, it was oh, like yeah, people yeah. were bashing skulls uh, in, in the kids' library. Mm hmm. Um, there's a shitload of visible Calvin Hobbes characters, like, Dang. like, uh, Illumination, if you're hearing this, there's a lot to pull from. Yeah, um, there's a lot of, like, in the minor characters, there's a lot of, you know, well-established characters like Pig, Armadillo, Ape, Duck, Raccoon, Frank. I remember Frank. Yeah. Um, Who was, um... What was the box again? Yeah, cardboard box was pretty good. Uh, um, there's Uncle Max, Duke, who I, uh, you don't remember Uncle Max? Oh, he had a mustache. Yeah, and he was canceled uh, pretty early. I, I assume he did something to Calvin. Yeah, unfortunately. But yeah. Um, you know what? Okay, actually. Um, I had like a 10th anniversary collection where like there would be strips and then Bill Watterson would give his notes. And he said, uncle Max was supposed to be like a major recurring character, but then like there was no, fa- like he said, like it wasn't negative, but there was just no fan reception. So he was just like, well, that's done. And he like scratched all the ideas and threw them in the trash. Where the fuck is my uncle Max fandom at, bro? It's, it's time to petition to get him back into Calvin and Hobbes. Uncle Max spinoff. Uncle, dude, that would fucking. Rule. There, you know, you know what, you know what, reboot Calvin and Hobbes, but the dad is gone, and it's just Uncle Max. Uncle Max is fucking Calvin's mom, and then every once in a while, Calvin will say, "Hey, where's Dad?" And then like they'll just get uncomfortable, and then he <laughs> goes into like a dream sequence <laughs> to, to to cope, and then like fucking. Yeah, you know, I, you, you shot the hoop. I, I don't know how, how to dribble the ball down the court. You, you made the yeah. point. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember those um, those colored strips. They would have um, those fucking colored strips. Uh, they would have like those two panels at the beginning. That would be less like a setup and a joke. And then it would like cut to whatever dream sequence he was having. And that could be a good setup. What happened to dad? Yeah, what happened to Calvin's dad? Um, and then it could just be Uncle Max and the mom looking at each other, and then they could have a speech bubble that like combines, but it just has like some black scribbles in it. I'm gonna search up. Like, uh, pardon me, but I'm gonna search up Calvin's mom rule thirty four because I've always uh, had okay. a thing for Calvin's mom. All right, I don't know why I did this, but I looked up Uncle Max because I just thought. For some reason, Calvin and the Hobbs would pop up. There, this show called Uncle Max looks pretty fucking freaky. Wait, you searched up Uncle Max Rule Thirty Four? No, I just looked <laughs> up Uncle Max because I figured Calvin and Hobbs would show up, and this Uncle Max show came up, and this looks uh, this looks pretty wild. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm going to stop looking at Calvin's mom Rule Thirty Four because uh, there's a lot of well, wait, there's one where she's actually fucking the uh, stuffed Hobbs doll. Huh. Yeah, that and sounds about one right. where it's like BDSM, where Hobbs the Hobbs doll is whipping Calvin's mom. 
And there's one where, Cal- where Hobbs is taking a, a photo of Calvin's mom's ass. Um, okay, let's talk about the Uncle Max show. Yeah, is Uncle Max supposed to be like autistic in this? Well, uh-huh. I know on the second series, is it the so, Oh, it's just a Mr. Bean ripoff. Yeah. Okay. Um, I was going to say, though, for the Rule 34, it would be really fucked up to imagine um, uh, this is all Calvin's imagination. <laughs> like, it's his dreams. He just constantly has dreams of his mom. And uh, um, Calvin has a hot mom, you know. It's... Yeah. I remember there some guy made a fan uh, continuation of the series. He made, like, a 10-strip thing. Or it's like Calvin and Sue Z are like 30 something and he gives um his kid Hobbs again or whatever. It was actually like really well done. Yeah, I think I saw that years ago. It was, yeah, it was like the same art style. Yeah, so give that man a job. Come on, Illumination, give that man a job. Illumin um, I don't know, do you think do you think DreamWorks could pull off a Calvin Hobbs movie? I was thinking that, yeah, because um I didn't like the Captain Underpants movie, really, but I feel like because I loved Captain Underpants when I was a kid, so if I was a kid, I would probably really like that. And they kind of, I think, would do that kind of same cartoony style. So I can see DreamWorks definitely doing a Calvin Hobbs movie. Cal- Captain Underpants does not hold up. It's too gross when I read it as like an adult. I'm like, this is like, like Calvin Hobbs holds up. Captain Underpants, yeah. it's too stupid. Uh, yeah, that's where I draw the line. I don't think I've read the cap, the Captain Underpants since I was like, I was so fucking pissed off because there was, it ended on the seventh book and it ended on a cliffhanger. And then that, other, so for every day when I was like eight or nine, I would like go to the bookstore and be like, is the new Captain Underpants book out? And every day the lady would look down at me and say no. Yeah, she fucking so hated sad. you. She took a that, photo of yeah. your face and was like, do not answer this boy's questions. Yeah. And then it turned out uh, Dave Pilkey, I think is his name, his dad had to fucking die. So he went on a writer's block. What a fucking put like a fucking pussy. Are, and then are, he are didn't you, come out with the eighth Captain Underpants book for are, ten years. Damn, I'm I'm sorry that this man, this <laughs> selfish man, stopped writing of Captain Underpants because of his father literally dying yeah what a fucking asshole (laughs) he didn't think of me when that happened also though in all seriousness how can you get and maybe maybe, i'm not a children's author so i don't know i have a very hard time imagining getting fucking writer's block for captain underpants bitch shut the fuck up man you don't understand I, I, I actually know what you're going through because I actually, I wasn't like a huge, but I, I did kind of like the books when I was like a little kid. And uh, I did get pretty mad about that cliffhanger. And they actually, mm-hmm. really, I found out they released a, a second one, to, a sequel to it, like when I was a teenager. So I did not give a shit. Yeah, exactly. I think when the... When that book came out, my sister bought it for me for Christmas as like a joke. Like, see, Matt, now you can finally shut the uh, fuck up. I was like, all right, it's too late. Yeah, it's <laughs> my dreams have been crushed. But I did go see that Captain Underpants movie. Did you, did you see it like in theaters? I did. Yes. Can like a just, man. What, what type of people saw Captain Underpants in theaters? Chads. Chads. The Virgin um, Secret Life of Pets versus the Chad Captain Underpants. Oh, they came out at the same time. I have no idea. And that's a really weird. So, specific... Somebody, somebody, fucking uh, fact check the Secret Life of Pets release date. Do it. Uh, it's so weird about all these movie franchises, cartoon, children's animated movie franchises that are like being made now that I have, like, never fucking seen. Um, yeah, I think, I think, um, I guess, I don't know, maybe this is just growing up, I guess, where I, I see, uh, seeing two, and I'm like, damn, that's a whole other world that I'm not a part of anymore. Um, yeah, I mean... Uh, I actually saw Sing a long time ago. I actually kind of liked it. It was like, it's it's okay. It's pretty good. 
All right, cool. I remember, I don't think I saw all of it, but I remember turning it off because I was like, yeah, no. Nah. This but, is um, not the Captain Underpants I know the, movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, yeah, I, I paid attention to that Captain Underpants movie. Um, the only thing I remember about Secret Life of Pets was that the dog was voiced by Louis C.K. And then they had to change him for the second one. Damn. The cancel culture strikes again. Um, what did Louis even do? I mean, I, I just like he jacked he, off in front of girls, like without their consent. I mean, yeah. it's so weird when, like, I don't know. I feel it's kind of weird when people downplay that because, I mean, that is fucking creepy. I mean, it is, but it's like I don't know. I, I assume he was probably like drunk or high in like a hotel room. Just well, apparently, also what would happen is he would call like employees and like he would jack off to them while he's on the phone. I mean, yeah, it's, it was it's weird, but it's I you know in fact I I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sound fucked up, but there's that part mm-hmm. where it's like it gives him character, you know, like he could be like a Simpsons yeah. character, you know. It's just like let my man jerk mm-hmm. off on the phone, come on. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I don't know. Like, I mean, I get it's not like Harvey Weinstein bad, but I'm like, eh. it's it's weird. But it's it's like the. Well, because there are people that are like hardcore, like Louis oh, didn't do anything wrong. It's like, dude, don't fucking die on that hill. You know, he did, okay, just, yeah, he made a weird. mistake, but it's not like an irredeemable mistake. Come on, nah, I, I don't know. It's let's no. talk, let's let's talk about something more lighthearted. I um, guess I don't know. Okay, what if Louis C.K. voiced at Hobbs in the Calvin and Hobbs Illumination? That movie? now that's the comeback of the century, right I, there. I could actually see that. I could see that too. Yeah. Yeah, dude. He He's got that sarcastic uh, tone. Yeah. That kind of Calvin or Hobbes had. I could see that. Mm. That'd be a. And what, what would the plot be in the Calvin Hobbes Illumination movie? Uh, um, it's Calvin and Hobbes hanging around, and then at the third act, uh, they get into a fight, and then Calvin gets lost, and then he has to find. Or Hobbes gets lost, and Calvin has to find him. Like okay. he gets like lost in the woods or something, or like a dog takes him. Yeah, and and then meanwhile, Calvin's parents are also trying to find Calvin. Yeah, yeah, and then meanwhile, uh, you see Uncle Max hanging around more and more, and the dad is around less and less. <laughs> that that's an e- that's an Easter egg. Top twenty three jokes you didn't get as a kid. <laughs> I fucking love those videos where it's like fucking. Yeah, I, I can't even think of any good, like, jokes with that, because that itself, I, I just love those fucking videos. Yeah. I remember there was, um, I saw Madagascar 3, um, like, my, my family took us to see it, and they made, like, an adult, I forget exactly what it was, but they made, like, an adult joke in that movie that was so, like, not subtle, like, the entire theater Afro was a circus. Like, yeah, that one. Uh, no, it was something about like nudists or whatever, but it was so like, like clearly like not subtle that like the it was like uncomfortable and the entire theater was just like silent. I forget exactly what joke it was, but I remember just like that was at a, a point where like I looked over at my mom and my mom was like, "Oh, I don't want to explain this to him," and I was just like, "I already know." Sam, sounds like you were you were in a theater filled with babies who couldn't understand big boy humor i was yeah stupid baby theater eating your happy meals and not your mighty meals when that joke came up i put on my sunglasses because i was an adult you were a big baby i was i was a big kid now you got do you like power rangers or barney Hmm? you like power rangers or barney bro Power Rangers. Okay, you passed the Barney test. Freaking stinks. I hate Barney, man. But did you know Barney uh, said the f word on camera? Yeah, my cousin has like the videotape of it. He said it because I was there beating the shit out of Barney for being a bitch. I punched him in his big fucking purple goose eggs. I, I freaking I hate Barney so much that like. If you gave me a billion dollars and you said you have to watch Barney for one minute, I would spit in your face and say no. Not not that I fucking watch the show, 
and not that I care. My but like, I, my cousin was my cousin's uh, <laughs> friend was watching it on the television, and they introduced a, an orange dinosaur, and I got so fucking. Pi- I mean, not that I care, but <laughs> I literally fucking punched the the drywall because <laughs> like I couldn't believe that they ruined the sanctity of PJ. Yeah, I, I don't like Barney, but my cousin's friend's dentist, uh, ex-wife's nephew, <laughs> teacher, uh, molester's uncle, uh, cousin, fourth cousin's uh, foreign exchange student made me watch Barney with him. And, you know, I, it's a little too ro- woke now in my taste, you know? <laughs> Barney's a little too woke. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck uh, the Newsmax declares war on Barney. Bar- the quartering. The, <laughs> the Barney is ruined. Barney isn't sexy anymore. They took away his tail. <laughs> now who's the um who's the green dinosaur? Uh, the, the, the the bitch dinosaur, the girl dinosaur. Yeah. They made her a fucking feminist now. Yeah. What's that gonna teach kids? Women have rights. Yo, know, she has like a little blankie because she's a stupid bitch. I my I think my favorite thing about the quartering is that like whenever anyone just calls him like a fat neck beard, he takes it as like like it's like a racial slur against him. Like the fucking elites are trying to tell us that we're just nerds. And I'm like, D- you make videos in front of Funko Pops. <laughs> like, come, dude, have like like Jeremy Johns is not going to get offended if somebody calls him like a geek. You know what I mean? Like. Grow up. Yeah. It's like, why don't you learn how to be awesome tacular, dude? Exactly. The, qu- the quartering, not even a... You'll, you'll forget about him in T-minus two days. <laughs> uh, is this- you know, say what, you, say what you will about Jeremy Johns. At least he's being honest. Yeah, you know. You know what I mean? I mean? Like, when he puts Thor in his top ten movies or whatever, like the first Thor, he's, he means that, you know? Wait, let let me like, actually search up Jeremy Johns' uh, top movies. Just, uh, oh, of all time? Yep. I, I put, I replaced Calvin's Mom Rule 34 with Jeremy Johns' top ten favorite movies, so the NSA is a little confused. Um, it's Jeremy Johns, uh, when he punches the camera, he's fisting a girl. <laughs> He's beating his child. <laughs> Jeremy Johns gets stuck in eyes. Um, where the fuck is Jeremy Johns? Is okay. I, I keep finding all these pure, these pure year ones. Uh, what, what's the favorite mm-hmm. movies of all time? Of all time, I'm sure, yeah, you know what? Look on his channel. I'm sure he'll have like an awesome tacular um, playlist. Wait, I, I think I found it. Um, his number one is Inception, which is Reddit. Mm-hmm. Is... I haven't seen Inception in years. Oh, hold on. Can you go on his YouTube page and look at his uh, YouTube banner uh, for a second? For those who don't know, it's... Um, wait, 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 wait. He's wait, holding wait, wait, a pretty... Don't, don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. All right, all right. Switch it up. All right, let's see. I'm going to click it, and it is... Calvin's mom butt fucking hops. No, it's. Um, I, I was really shocked at it too. It's just him holding a sword. That's you, pretty badass. You, you got my hopes up, bro. I was like expecting something That's a, like really cringy. It's not that cringy. It's a good drawing. Yeah, it is a good drawing. Looks like Ross from Friends. Mm-hmm. Um, Where the fuck? He should have an awesome tacular. You know, let me just look up Jeremy John's awesome tacular. Is there a Jeremy John's rule thirty four? There has to be. Uh-huh. All right, awesome tacular reviews from Jeremy John's. Um, okay, the first one is Legend of the Guardians: Owls of Gahul. Wait, what are you looking I, up again? This is every video. This is a playlist. Every awesome tacular that's been given by Jeremy John's. Yeah, okay. So, Legend of the Guardians, Owls of Gahul. I, I've heard that movie's good. I have not seen it, but, you know, to each their own. Uh, the Crow, V for Vendetta. I agree with I, 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 I acknowledge it's very different from the comic, but I actually really like the V for Vendetta movie. Um, are we actually um, going to look through this entire... Because he has 156 movies. He has, yeah. Uh, there's a lot. Uh, he Man, he really loves some movies. I'll point out weirder ones um 
Um, hey, all of these are pretty solid. Yeah, like. Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2. Oh, that's a video game. That is one. What the fuck? What? The fuck? What? You make video video game reviews. Um, he puts video game reviews with his movie reviews? Ralph Breaks the Internet. Interesting. Ralph Breaks My Hymen. Uh... Yeah, it's like yeah. there's nothing. This is not. This is not as interesting as I thought it would yeah, be. Yeah, I mean, these are all just kind of basic picks. These are um, like uh, Deepwater Horizon. What a fucking boomer! When I think of like the the kid who goes to immediately to film school after high school and he puts like posters in his room. Yeah, this yeah. is what you would see. You know, you got your. I mm-hmm. mean, all fine movies, but it's you know, it's like just, yeah, the Hobbit sequels. I mean. I haven't seen him, so I can't say anything, but I've heard those aren't very good. Um, I, I, I love his uh, review of uh, Pulp Fiction. Thank you, Jeremy Johns, for uh, telling me about this great movie I would have never heard of. Um, yeah. You know what? I was debating about watching Pulp Fiction, but I was like, ah, I don't know, man. I don't want to waste my time. Then I, I saw that Jeremy Johns review. Damn right. And I was like, thanks, man. Thank now you. I know. Jeremy. I searched up Jeremy Fi- Johns. Oh, what? Mm-hmm. Pulp Fiction is dog shit. <laughs> I thought that was the most badass thing ever that he said shit. It's like he, he should be the next a- AVGN. Like, yeah, him and then Nostalgia Critic. I was like, you're fucking cussing? What? Whoa. You ever seen mm-hmm. uh, the AVGN versus Nostalgia Critic video where the, the, the really old one with Captain S... Yes, I have, if I remember correctly. I remember the one where they're fighting and they keep uh, shoving each other into boxes. Uh, that yeah, that's the one without Captain S. But the Captain S one was like he Captain S was like a third wheel the entire fucking fight. Uh, that seems. I, I bet that was pretty funny. That was. Well, when are they going to rematch? But yeah, when are sh- they going to rematch? Um. Well, I don't know. James is kind of in. Like- oh, okay. Actually, this is. I, I didn't mean to derail this, but I, I um, my my buddy no! Jed, who's in a couple of our videos, we went to a, a horror. He really. We went to a horror convention, and yeah. I got to meet um, Corey Taylor, and I asked yeah. him about uh, the nostalgia critic, and I was like, "Do you, do you think the fallout from the wall review is uh, a little bit too extreme?" And he he actually went on this really like impassioned rant. Where he was just like, Doug Walker is a really fucking nice guy. Everyone that makes fun of him is a fucking pussy because, listen, here's the thing. I was in the review too. Nobody came after me. No one came, made fun of me because you know why? Because I'm going to fucking eat them alive. But Doug Walker wouldn't do that. So that's why everyone targeted him or whatever. And you know what? He's just a dude making fucking shit. You know? Leave him alone. I was really, I was really impressed with that answer. I was like, damn. Doug Walker, you've got an ally. Doug Walker and Corey Taylor, bros for life, mm-hmm. our homeboys. You know, I would love it. Uh, I want Doug Walker to make another album with Corey Taylor just to piss off the Redditors. Yeah, it can be. Um, I can't come up with a joke. I don't know. Pinkerton. <laughs> the nostalgia critics Pinkerton. I mean, dude. Uh, <laughs> Doug Walker's version of the Wall album is actually better than the real Pink Floyd The Wall. Whoa! Yeah. The hot take alert. Whoa. Yeah, bitch. I'm going Fucking there. Say that to my face, bro. Uh, um, nah, I think you should just do all the Pink Floyd albums. I mean, he's got to complete them. I, I think, um, I'm not going to lie, I, I love that, uh, some of the songs in the Nostalgia Critic videos kind of kick. I'm not gonna like lie. The Which fucking, ones? The fucking I can't. I really can't remember any of them. Merry fucking Christmas. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Is that the one I was like, I fuck 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 fucking love Christmas? I love that something. song, bro. Yeah, I um, I think some of the Mulan. Well, actually, no, I I shouldn't say that because I haven't seen that in a long time. And thinking about it now, I, I probably would think it's pretty cringy. But I remember the Moulin Rouge review being pretty good. 
I haven't actually seen that one. Um, now I, I have to tell you something, Matt. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to wrap this stream up because one, I'm hungry, and two, I really have to piss. So I think about that is five, a okay, dude. Five more minutes. Yeah, that's fine. Unless you want me to piss on your face or a Chevy. Piss on Hobbs. Piss on Hobbs. That'd be the perfect um, closer for Bill Watterson's uh, legacy. Whoa. Come on. Respect Bill Watterson. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. I thought of this fucking... This is going to be... Okay. Nightmare scenario. When Bill Watterson dies, someone's going to go dress as Calvin and pee on his grave. Uh, that's actually legitimately sad, bro. I don't know why. Yeah, I, I think that gave I, I feel like that's going to happen. It's not going to happen. I don't know. Uh, I don't want you know what? Cut this part out because I don't want to inspire someone. I mean, I, I I'll, I'll title this video. Matt suggests you piss on Bill Watterson's grave once Calvin dies. No, dies. no. Uh, Bill Watterson, I uh. I actually really respect a lot. I haven't seen that one documentary about him though. The Do you have Dear a crush Bill Watterson. It's like Dear Mr. Watterson or something. Do you? Because uh, he's like pretty reclusive. Yeah, he's like the. Uh, uh, there's always a you know behind every franchise. There's one creator who's a little more outgoing than the reclusive one. Mm -hmm. Um. You know. Fucking. He's like the Howard Hughes of comics. Fuck, I'm too tired to think of any references. I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm not bringing my A material tonight, homeboy. I want to watch. I want to see Bill Watterson's Watchmen. You want to see Bill Watterson's Watchmen? Well, yeah, yeah, I think that'd be pretty. It's bad. probably a red bubble T-shirt somewhere of Calvin Hobbes' Watchmen characters. Is he's going to be Rorschach? Um. Because they're both pretty crazy, man. Yeah, dude, there's a bunch of these. There's, uh... Oh, there's also the... Remember that, like, Joker, where Joker is Hobbs and Calvin is Lex Luthor? <sighs> that sounds about right. This was huge on iFunny. For all you fucking babies who don't remember iFunny. With the... the, those, were the those were the dark times. Where every featured was, like, a Will Ferrell meme or, or something. Mm -hmm. Or like every... oh, this one's this one's pretty funny. Um, it's uh, Calvin is Ozymandias, and then the, the Hobbs is the one the tiger or cat thing he has in that. Yeah, uh, yeah. And Hold on, I see. Um, Hobbs is the comedian. Yeah, I see. Um, the fuck is this? Oh, I see. Yeah, Hobbs is the Joker, and uh, I didn't realize that was supposed to be Lex Luthor. I thought he was Charlie Brown in a suit. For a was a kid with cancer. Yeah, Caillou. Yeah, um, yeah, Charlie Brown in the Joker. Yeah, clearly that's the first thing I think of. It's clearly their. Yes. Yeah. Guys, did you know that Caillou is actually supposed to be representative of a kid with cancer? Whoa, dude. Other dark fan theories you didn't know. I didn't come to iFunny to think. I came here to laugh, bro. Yeah. Remember how, like, every iFunny meme on the featured was, like, a picture of Michelle Obama being like, she's going to take away your guns and soda and make you eat broccoli. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle Obama is going to make... Barney mandatory in schools. Michelle, they should like the Legion of Libtards. <laughs> Barney, Michelle Obama, Justin Bieber. Just, Hannah, Justin Hannah. Bieber's gonna sing the national anthem at Barack Obama's inauguration. Just in case you needed any more proof. Donald Trump got all door all. What the fuck is it called? Three Doors Down at his graduation. Uh, it's like it's like the end of Evangelion for like aging millennials who are in their 40s yeah. now. Mm -hmm. Doing the gym face as they look out. At a fallen empire. 
<laughs> it Theodore's is- Down has got some uh, pretty quality tracks, though. I'm not going to lie. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, all two of their amazing lineup. Yeah, I said some. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> they had the song that was in the Geico commercial. Well, that's how you know your bands made it. Let me be myself. Bro, are the songs in the commercials because that's what the people wanted or, or what the people wanted the song because it was in the commercial? Whoa. Think about that as we, as we close out <laughs> or, or this episode. Uh, of what's this called? Synthcast? Oh, yeah. Wait, let, me, let me ask you one more question before we end this. Yeah, one more question. Sure. Guitar Hero DS. Did you have that as a kid? I want you to... Yes, I did. That, that is the lamest fun. shit. What? You thought it was lame? Look at this. Look, I, I'm, I'm gonna... I had Lego Rock Band. It, it was cool because you could like switch between all the tracks. The only reason why you would get Guitar Hero Rock Band is to play with other friends with like plastic shit. When you play alone on the DS with like the buttons, it's like... This was the, the lamest, gayest, nerdiest shit. Look at this. Mm-hmm. Did, if if you go um you, you still go to college right oh i didn't have this no yeah because the 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 rock the, the guitar hero on ds where you just press buttons yeah this is this is lame no i had a lego rock band for the ds and um have you ever played that game amplitude uh this better not be any weeb shit amp it's not amplitude it's like a it's like a rhythm game but um you're like a spaceship and then like you have to like hit the buttons correctly but you can go to like different like tracks to where like when you would be hitting the buttons for the vocals or for the um the guitar and the drums and stuff it worked just like that and i used to play that like all the time whenever like um there's a road trip this looks like F zero for like autistic kids who really need to memorize everything. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> it helped me with my pattern recognition. It got my pattern recognition under control. From uh, Captain Underpants to Amplitude, to get, to D- DS on a uh, the Rock Band D- Lego Rock Band DS. I, I want you to get the uh, that Guitar Hero DS thing. I want you to bring it to like. Your call or show whatever. And, yeah, I'll bring it to show and tell. That would fucking rule, dude. Yeah. Well, I think you know how like they have. I think yeah. Y- you think yeah? It were time to wrap up. Oh, I mean, if you want to say one more thing, you can say it. I think. English motherfucker, do you speak it? Whoa! Yeah! Okay, oh my god, I get that I, reference. I go to film school, okay? Calm mm-hmm. down, dude. Hey guys, my favorite Quentin Tarantino movie is Death Proof. Bet you Whoa. didn't see that one coming. Oh my god! Yeah, that um, movie's actually pretty good. You got any uh, plugins you want to spit and spaz out? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, sure. Wait, wait before you do that, I actually, uh, this is kind of embarrassing, but I, I have to read out my uh, cool guys and generous guys since they uh, are, in, are my members. <laughs> what so a they're... fucking sellout. Shut up, bitch! Mm-hmm. I, I got fired from my job! <laughs> okay. If you want to hear more um, 20-year-old men r- ranting about Calvin and the Hobbes, uh, make sure to um, pay Synth Cool. Yeah, bitch. Um, pay me, bitches. Okay, I got to load it up. Okay, we got Techno Drip. Thank you for your donation, generous guy. Um, we got Fat Kid Productions. Thank you very much, you fatty fat aching for Arby's, binging for Burger King, dunking for Dunkin' Donuts. I got nothing, you fat bitch. Pay me. Um, Spyman3000, thank you very much. Uh, we got Adam Deerdack, uh, Nameless Failure. I, you, oh, wait. Um, oh, wait. Nameless Failure. I wasn't meant to say you because you're a good guy. You're not a cool guy or a generous guy. So I guess you are a failure. So, you know. 
Um, the pissed off owl. Uh, MD Lofty one two three four. Super J forty seven. Uh, little lasagna. Zach McKay. Alonzo Gomez. Scoops. Dan um. Let's see the symptom. And just to make sure, I'm going to check it one more time in case I missed anyone. Um, oh, we got D, Dr. Cider. All right. Um, Matt, you're not giving me any material to work with here. You know, it's like... Did, you, did you mention Ligma? Uh, Ligma? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> 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 I actually... Are you, you fucking kidding me? You are blacklisted from this podcast. Oh, I bitch. fucking sit. That is fucking unacceptable, dude. Dude. <laughs> oh my god. I, I, I walked into that one. Jesus. Um Damn, dude. I feel <laughs> and, betrayed, anything else man. you want to mention. Um Yeah, um Okay, just this once I'll I'll list the good guys because I, I want to be nice. So really quickly because I love all you guys. Just just this once. Every once in a while, I'll list off the good guys. Probably not Sergi, Comrade Woof, Woofy, Goofy Little Name, um, Jacob T, Nebula Gauntlet, DC Cider, going, if you're cool, James, this again, Techno Drip, YTube, Fat Kid Productions. Hey, I'm sorry if I, made, if I made fun of your weight. That that was just lighthearted fun. I'm sorry, Fat Kid. Spy Man 3000, Adam Deerdeck, Nameless Failure. You're not a failure. I love you, Dennis Bowen. Uh, Skirp one two nine, the pissed off owl guy Montag MD Lofty one two three four Super J forty seven little lasagna Zach McKay Alonzo Gomez scoops oh did I miss Alonzo Gomez the first round sorry bro uh, Daniel Goldie Thomas Yates Jarrell hey what's up Jarrell the symptom take down the internet don't take down the internet bad head in Sanctus seventy one okay um, that was pretty good so yeah so uh. Yeah, give plug yourself, bitch. Now that I got the real superstars out of the way, hell yeah. Uh, my name, well, <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll. Yeah, do we even say my name was Matt at the beginning? Um, uh, I think I called you Matt. I could. You want me to censor it? Like, yeah, if you if you could. No, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm Matt. Um, I have two channels. One of them is Beautifully Terrible Productions. That's the channel I put a lot more effort into. We have skits or whatever. That I make with my uh, friends. Um, expect more stuff coming. Yeah, yeah, in the incel. There you go. That's still our most viewed somehow. Um, but we are going to make more stuff soon. Just give us some time. And then uh, I have another channel called Bonsai um, that has more like kind of shit posts and video essays and stuff and just kind of whatever I feel like posting on it. I have a podcast on there too where we review every Adam Sandler movie. Um, more stuff is coming on that channel too. I'm, I'm actually working stuff for that channel right now. So stay tuned. But, uh, yeah, this has been fun. Thanks for having me on, dude. You better put me as a guest in one of those Adam Sandler movies, bro. Which, which movies specifically do you want to be on? We'll keep that. Do you have one? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, thanks for coming on. I'll sure to have you as a reoccurring guest on this little goofy experiment I'm doing. Uh, okay. Nah, that sounds cool. Oh, wait, wait. Did, did, did you have disapproval of that? No, no. Sid, please. Do, do, do you have to go back into the cage? Or, or <laughs> it's, it's, I'm sorry. Cage? Are you going Don't back put me on rule. <laughs> you want to knock a fucking sandwich? <laughs> 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 Calvin's mom! Big McThankies from McSpankies. <laughs>